we will now present the winners of the Fedora Opera Prize category that is supported by Generali and brought to you in collaboration with Opera Europa. Hello to all of you. It's a pleasure to be here today for on the occasion of the awards ceremony of Fedora. I am happy to bring the greetings of Generali as the head of sponsoring for the group, as well as those of our group CEO, Philippe Nonet. We have been together with Fedora now for a number of years, and we've seen Fedora grow and thrive and develop new initiatives and new prizes to support artists all over Europe and beyond. So we are very happy also this year again to be a partner and a sponsor of the prize for opera. Generali has a long history of being a patron of the arts, of theatres, and what we find particularly interesting about the work Fedora is doing is that it's looking for partnerships and cooperations across theatres and, and creating that network that can strengthen the whole system, while at the same time looking for talent, fostering and growing talent for the future, both within the realm of the artists themselves, but also looking at the future of audiences, which I think is an equally important topic to guarantee the best possible future for this form of art. And for this reason, we are very happy again this year to sponsor this prize. It's been a very, very difficult year for the world. And of course, um, the whole world of the arts has suffered immensely too. So we see this moment as a moment of looking forward optimism to the future and of starting again. I wish all the best to the winners, to the runners-up, and I very, very much look forward to meeting you all in a theatre as soon as possible. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to present this prize which nurtures innovation and creativity of opera by supporting new experimental opera creation, realized by promising teams of emerging artists with the ambition to reach international audiences. The nominees are... Elsewhere by Straymaker Ireland. Like Flesh by Opéra de Lille, France. Innocence by Festival d'Aix-en-Provence, France. Celle, Wenn es dunkel wird, by Lord Music Theatre, Belgium. Congratulations to the nominees. I'm now delighted to announce the winner of the Fedora Opera Prize 2021. Like Flesh led by Opera de Lille. As a member of the jury, I can say on behalf of the jury that this project was selected for the relevance of his story, the level of poetry and immersion offered to the audience and for the quality of the project. This international cooperation gathered a mix of promising and emerging talents united in telling a modern and innovative myth for the 21st century. We will now hear from the winning team. Like Flesh is a new opera that eh, aborde two subjects sujets eh, essential and also très actual celui de notre relation à l'autre et celui de notre rapport à l'environnement et plus particulièrement aux arbres et aux forêts. Le livret est inspiré des métamorphoses de vide. Il raconte l'histoire d'une femme qui, pour fuir l'oppression de, de son mari, euh, se transforme en arbre. Elle va alors connaître euh, une nouvelle histoire d'amour et de désir, mais aussi euh, les dangers et euh, les menaces. Cet opéra est l'œuvre de trois jeunes femmes brillantes pour l'écriture du livret, de la musique et pour la mise en scène et qui nous font donc toucher avec beaucoup de sensibilité et de puissance ces questions de la relation à l'autre et à la différence. Il est écrit pour trois chanteurs solistes, Petit Cœur, 
et orchestre, ainsi qu'un dispositif électronique avec la présence de 64 haut-parleurs dans la salle qui viendront nous plonger du point de vue sonore dans cette transformation de notre environnement et nous faire percevoir cette métamorphose. La mise en scène intègre des images qui vont se transformer également tout au long de cette métamorphose du personnage. Nous sommes très heureux de présenter la création mondiale de Light Flèche à l'Opéra de Lille en janvier 2022. My name is Sylvain Adler, I'm the composer of the new opera Like Flesh. I'm here at the beautiful Camargo Foundation where I'm working on the score for the opera. And on behalf of myself and the whole team, writer Cordelia Lynn, musical director Maxime Pascal, our stage director Sylvia Costa, and some Le Balcon, Ircam, Opera Deal, and all our co-producers were really, really thrilled to accept this prize. We want to thank first the audiences who voted for the project. We would like to thank the jury who selected us and of course the sponsor, Generali, for making this prize possible. And really, we are really excited and very thankful. This prize recognizes for us all the work we've been doing for the past few years now on this opera and bringing it to life to new audiences. It also recognizes the work of the artistic director of Opera de Lille, Caroline Sonnier, who was the first courageously to commission us, and all the work she's been doing now for over a decade in bringing new works to life from both emerging and established composers and artists. Um, concretely, with this prize, we're hoping to expand our tour for 2022-23, bringing it to different audiences, to new venues, and we look forward to seeing you at Opera de Lille in January 2022. Thank you.